there is this happiness you feel whenever you, you know, visit a different country. When you travel out of your country and go to somewhere else, you know, new environment, new lifestyle, new culture, and a whole of that. There is this feeling gives to you, you know, changes and so. So before I came to Russia, I always say this in my video, I was a student at Unilag. Do I finish high school in the year 2017? I finished secondary school in 2017. When I finished 2017, I didn't enter a Nigerian university. I had a gap year. And that gap year I used it to work to make some money, not for schooling, just to make some money. So I was a teacher when I was in the gap year. I, I worked as a teacher in secondary and primary schools. And um, 2018, I went to jam, first sitting, I passed my jam and I got admission to study the course I applied for, which was business administration in University of Lagos State, Unilag, Nigeria. Um, so while studying at Unilag, you know, before I left secondary school, I made it my decision that I was going to get a scholarship. I, I made up my mind that I'm going to get, I must get a scholarship to study outside Nigeria. I made a video where I talked about how I got this scholarship. So you can check the video and learn from my story. So when I was in Unilag, I was studying business administration. And while doing that, I was applying for different scholarships and so checking out different scholarships online. So in the course of, you know, checking and applying to a lot of scholarships, I came across the bilateral educational agreement scholarship by the federal government of Nigeria. That scholarship was what brought me to Russia. I am now. Okay. So um I I came to Russia 2019 and I did my language year um before I entered my main school. Currently I'm studying economics in Russia but Nigeria business administration. So how did I feel coming to Russia? Well I was happy though I didn't like make research about Russia before I came I didn't make any research I was just happy that I got this scholarship that my dream to study after scholarship came to pass I wasn't even concerned about the country I just knew that I was just happy that I got a scholarship to live in Nigeria that was my joy so my the way I felt I felt happy I was so joyous also you know excited to get this scholarship to come to Russia. So coming to Russia was like a dream come true for me. So I never knew that it's, it's, it's it can be a lot difficult like here in Russia. It's, it's not as I thought it would be, like things would not be the way it's supposed to be. I didn't even reason that. I didn't even make any research about Russia if I came. I was just so excited that I was leaving Nigeria to come to Russia. So that was how I felt. I was happy. My first impression about Russia was that well when i first came in 2019 it was weird no it was cool that it was cold like everywhere was cold i was cold you know of course i had to like make research a lot of time to realize that russia is a good country so it was cold at first and everybody was weird everything was weird at first i was having this kind of nigerian kind of vibes or still having this nigerian kind of vibes you know apart from the fact that there are white people around and there are big big gigantic buildings like everywhere seems so like nigeria i was still getting nigerian vibes you no know? like what is the difference between here and nigeria like nothing has nothing has changed in my eyes but let us share that mentality left me so then another impression was that Russians can look at you, they are, like they can stare at people. Everybody will be looking at you. Wherever you go to, you'll be, you'll be seen as, as one kind alien. Like, you know, it's we, we that are living in civilized cities, like we are lucky. Like, we are living in the center of Russia, we are lucky. But people who are living in, in the farther area of Russia or timid area of Russia, you know, those people, like when they see blacks, they are like as if they've seen a god or they've seen an alien. They'll be looking at you and they'll be so scared to talk to you. like. It will look as if they are racist. Like you can't, they can't sit together with you in the in the bus. They can't even be be in the same place with you. Like they act like they've not seen a black person before. So it could be so annoying. But yeah, 
in my city like the only difference is that people always want to like snap picture with you like walking on the road a random person will come to you and say please can i take a picture with you like there we saw it as something that, that was fun and exciting so we did we never we, we, we saw it as nothing so if they ask us for a picture we snap picture with them you know that kind of thing but as time went on all those things like this doesn't make sense like why would i snap picture with uh, any random person so yeah and, and that weird look that they were looking at you so that was the impression wasn't so cool at first but you know as i got to start knowing them getting to relate with them and that kind of thing like my mentality changed and my impression also changed about them there are a lot of good things you can get like you, you can experience like you know living and studying in russia for instance russians can be nice I'm telling you, these guys can be so loving, they can be so accommodating, they can be so nice. I'm telling you, like this of them were in civilized cities like Moscow, St. Petersburg, and that. They can be nice, and at the same time, they, they can be psycho, like they can be so out of it. You know, as much as they are nice, they can be so wicked and they can be so. So, so how oh God, I'll get to the best side of it. So, Russians can be nice, they can be so friendly, they can be so accommodative. They accommodative, they, they, they always like to like make friends with you know, relate with big blacks, big blacks. They always want to like you know, mingle with us, talk to us. Like, most time you walk in there, especially they are younger, be like, Hi, hello, you know, they only want to practice that English that they've been learning from the class. Like, when they see a black, just believe that everybody can speak English. So, they see a non white person. That would tend to like you know speak english with the pen so they want to like express themselves in english get to interact with you in english you know like they can also help you in some situations like you know when you're friends with them they can help you in certain situations so they can be nice and another thing is that you get to see yourself for yourself like and discover a lot of things you could see the world for yourself see russia for yourself you know there are a lot of misconceptions about russia and you get to see it yourself you get to discover a lot of things discover a lot of culture discover and like like learn about their culture about their way of life how they do things why they do things this way and that you get to learn a lot of things so that is this on that good part of learning in russia and in their educational system too like they have a very good and orderly educational system that is quite different from nigeria so their education is good they, they teach well they give you practical aspect of teaching you learn it's not just theory 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 you learn both theory and you do practicals also like they give you the best in their teaching and yeah there's orderliness these guys they are so orderly in doing things like they follow a lot of bureaucracy in doing that thing so orderliness also is another thing that you get to learn in uh, you get, get to enjoy in russia of course, everything that has a good part also has a bad part. So, man, <laughs> back in high school, they would say that whatever has an advantage also has a disadvantage. So, Russians are, they can be so bureaucratic. Ah, these guys can follow bureaucracy. Like, they can follow, like, status quo with their life. Eh? Huh? Like if you want to do something, you have to go through different processes, go through this one, go through that one, dun, dun, dun. like uh, uh, a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of processes, and you have to go through everything. You cannot cut corners, you cannot like do that. Yeah, that thing can be so annoying. Especially when you're when you're so in need of something, it's up. You have to like you know follow every process. Uh, it's so tiring, man. Rather than that, Russia's okay. These guys don't care at all. They don't care about you. They don't care about what you're going to be like. For example, even with your classmates, your classmates don't care whether teachers don't even care. Teachers don't care whether you're doing well in class or whether you're coping with class or whether, or whether you're a forest then you don't you don't understand their language. In the exam board, they don't want to care. They'll tell you that they need to know that you're supposed to learn or study in Russia before you came to their country. They don't give it. They don't give like man. So they don't care about you. So yeah, you just have to like you know care about yourself. You have to take care of take care of yourself and don't expect these questions to be nice to you. No, they can be nice also and they can be caring, but they don't care. <laughs> some can be racist and mean. Ah, if you see the racist part of some of these Russians, God, it's so disgusting. 
like men. Like, it gets to a point, you feel like crying. Like the way they will treat you at times, to get to a point, you feel like weeping and crying for your life. Like, I'll still have to that. I'll be like, these guys, they should come to Nigeria and challenge me. Like, in terms of studying, they feel like they know it all. They should come and, and learn in English. Let's see who, 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 who knows book more. So, like, men, in terms of being mean and being racist, ah, it was a point in time that they did something to me. Like, I felt like I, I traveled to Moscow without my passport. So, coming back, I wanted to book um, a bus, like, buy a ticket for my journey back to my city. Like, this guy said, without my passport, I can't book a bus. I, I can't buy a ticket. I showed them my passport to my friend that I'm not with a hard copy that I, I forgot it at home. That we have the picture on our phone. They said no. That we should go back home and get it. I'd be like, which home again? I am from Varonesh. I'm in Moscow. How do I, I need to go back to Varonesh? How do I go to Varonesh without like booking a ticket? And like, we begged them, begged them. They said no. And the bus was the last, the, the, it was in the night, night journey. And the bus going was the last bus. We were looking at this boss go like this, like we are looking at the boss, we begged people, they refused. Ah God, they are like, is the law. That is where we come comes in again. I like is the law that the law this one I want. Oh god, it was they were so mean. Very, very we begged, we begged, we begged, they refused. So we had to sleep at the bus station that night. God, I was so frustrated, I was so angry. Ah I was so angry. So these guys can be so mean and so racist. Then they can be stingy. Russians can be stingy. Hey, these guys don't know they give up. In fact, they want to collect from you without giving to you. They want to collect from you without wanting to give to you. So they can be very, very stingy. That one, ah, I don't like that one about them at all, at all. In terms of education, what do I have to say about Russia? What can I say about them in terms of education? Well, Russia are so good they are very very intelligent like educationally their lecturers are very very good and they are so practical they, they don't just give you theory and theory right 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 without giving you practicals they give you theory and they also give you practicals also so there's and there's orderliness classes like holiday starts in june like it differs like holiday differs from like when you go on holiday differs from school to school but you see resumption resumption in all the Russian university across the country is on September 1st and no matter the day that from that September 1st is school must start that day if it's on a Saturday school must start if it's on a Sunday those that have classes on Sunday must start if it's on a Monday they must start so on the first of september every year so academic activities across all universities across the country starts so there's this orderliness and things are done as at when they are to be done you start your school you have four years to spend in university you spend your four years and go home you have five years you spend your five years you have six or seven years you spend that six or seven years and you go home everything is done as it ought to be done so there's orderliness then here there's no strike doesn't like strike in nigeria you are you, you are supposed to do a course of four years you spend like seven years doing that course here nothing like that <coughs> you start your course september 1st four years you're done straight no cutting no strike nothing not there's no strikes here at all so everything is smooth everything is smooth this is that no crowdy classes in uni like even when we are having like joint classes like it can't be crowdy at all at all so yeah the way that they they try to cope that crowdiness is dividing each department into groups get yes, every department is divided into group so like so like we have a group of let's say 15 i think the max is 15 like 15 people in a group so in a particular department they will divide the students into groups of 15 15 15 you get so like you can't go to a class and you see or up to 100 or more than 100 people in a class or class or class being so crowded and so and noise everywhere no nothing like that here in russia like they try as much as possible to reduce the sizes of their group so that teacher can have this you know like ability to 
carry out their duty very well. And each department has different teacher. Each group has different teacher most times. Most of the time, each group has <coughs> different teacher that take them on different subjects. You get so it helps the teachers to also like you know deliver very very well. Then there is this free communication with your lecturers. Like in Nigeria, you, you, you don't even most times not even get access to your lecturers. But here in Russia, like you can communicate with you can message your lecturer on their email. You can message them message them on Muju. You can text them on on VK. You can even call them. So there is this freedom. You have access to your lecturers. You have access to your teachers. Like you can relate with them very very well. Then some teachers can be nice and mean at the same time. Even the students, like there are teachers who are very, 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 very nice. Like to so international students, they are very nice, and there are some that are very, very mean. Also, they are very mean to foreigners. You be like, what kind of teacher is this? So just you have to cry and beg and beg and beg and beg before they can score you very well in, in certain courses. It can be so, so annoying. Then classes are very, very tight. Classes are very very tight. Like you have to you start class in the morning. Sometimes you will end late at night with little little breaks. Ah, it's so annoying, man. So there are tight classes and the language language barrier. Ah, God, this language has rendered a lot of students useless in this country because one the language is difficult. Though we have to learn the language for a year when we first come. So, but one year is not enough to learn a language, and these guys don't care. They believe that you learned the language for a year that you should know what you're doing. They don't care at all at all. So language is a problem, a very very big problem. Then another thing is lots of holidays. There are a lot of holidays you have to enjoy in Russia, like holiday. Hey, you and and your summer break is very very long, like about two months for summer break. So you have a lot of time to rest your head and prepare for the next semester. So the academic, their education here is just good and studying here is just good. And their tuition fee is not that expensive. You don't pay a lot of money to study in Russia, unlike Canada or USA, we have to pay a huge amount of money. But here, the tuition is like affordable, very, very afford affordable. In terms of working in Russia, what do I have to say? Okay, um, getting a job in Russia is not easy and at the same time, it's not difficult to get. So you could easily get a job to do and at the same time it can be difficult i made a video on um how much I, what i do in russia like what business i do in russia and how you can get a job in russia check the card up there to see that video so um there is this app uh, this website you can search for job hh.ru you can check out a job there and you can get jobs in english jobs in russian and get paid like very well so getting a job here is easy and at the same time difficult and sometimes these guys can be so discriminative in terms of giving out jobs like very very and so annoying you can also earn a lot of money here working in russia you can earn like up to 500 dollars working here in russia and as a foreign student as an international student you can work in russia yeah you can work there's no restriction you can work and make money in Russia, nobody's stopping you from that. So generally, Russia is not a bad place to stay, it's not a bad place to live, but for me, I wouldn't want to live in Russia. I wouldn't want to like remain in Russia after I'm done with my studies. I want to live to somewhere better. So Russia is like a stepping stone to where, to what I want to be in the future and to what future. Russia is a stepping stone to what I want to go into and where I want to go to. So, generally, it's not bad to stay in Russia, but personally, I wouldn't want to still be in Russia for a very long time. But all things being equal, if worse comes to us, I if worse comes to us, I will still remain in Russia and you know just cope with everything you know physically that is it for this video guys so please like subscribe and you know comment what you think bye